Coach Rob here with Moto E. Just wanted to uh, share with you a cross training tool that I think all racers need to have in their toolbox um, in regards to fitness and particularly with uh, rehab. This is called an aqua jogging belt and it's designed to put you floating uh, in an upright position in a body of water, whether it's a pool or a lake or whatever. It's very simple, it just snaps into place on the front and what it does is it sits you in a very tall upright position and you can either walk in the water uh, you can run in the water. It doesn't really matter um, how you use it, but the beautiful part about this, uh, this device is it creates a load level on the muscle tissue without all the residual fatigue and impact on your hips, your knees, and your ankles. As motorcycle racers, as there are already three joints that take a lot of abuse, um, if you are, uh, have been through any kind of surgery, you know post rehab, that's the most important thing to focus on. And this is a tool that we use with the majority of our racers. Uh, we don't only use it just for rehab, we also use it for strength and conditioning as a cross training tool. But uh, if you are looking at this video and it's post rehab from a surgery, what I want you to realize is the density of the water is going to be strengthening your attachments of the tendons and the ligaments. It's gonna increase the overall strength of the muscle tissue and it will also increase your muscular endurance because the density of the water never goes away. You have to constantly be pushing and pulling. So in a very short period of time, you'll find that the muscles are gonna hit a point of fatigue and that's the idea here. Let's train smart, not hard. So with that being said, what I wanna encourage you to do is please click on the links below where we have the opportunity for you to be able to uh, see some aqua jogging specific workouts that you can take to either the pool or the lake where you're gonna use this. Remember, you wanna have the depth of the water deep enough that your feet do not touch the ground. And as you make your way in your running range of motion, you'll find yourself moving through the water slowly, and that's okay. The only thing that I want to encourage you is when you're using the aqua jogging belt, please don't forget that even though you're in a liquid environment, you are sweating and you will lose a lot of fluids. So please keep up with your hydration. But this is a great cross-training tool for racers, especially for those who are either on the verge of an injury, um, maybe you tweaked your knee, maybe you dabbed your toe in a corner or something, and you tweaked your knee or your lower back or your hip. Um, if not, you're just using it for strength training. Again, another fantastic tool to use, but we're kind of in a catch-22 here. I'd rather you use it when you're not injured, just so you get stronger. But on the flip side of that, if you are injured or it's post-operation, I want to encourage you to use this as well. So I appreciate you watching. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to email us, Rob, R-O-B-B, the number three at earthlink.net. Until next time, train smart.